further ado, uh, my name is Brenda and I'm a home ownership counselor uh, here at the Woodland Branch. Um, and we are called officially Southwest Washington. This is my partner in crime. Hello, I am Justina. I am also a home ownership counselor in the Woodland Branch. And I will be co-hosting with Brenda. So essentially I am her little assistant that helps her out. And um, I will be reading off any questions that you might have. So if you do have questions, please um, post them in the question and answer section, not the chat section, the Q&A at the bottom. Um, and I'll read them and we'll answer them as we kind of go through today. Looks like you already have a question. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Everybody, I want tons of questions. That's how you get educated. An educated customer is a smart customer. So you understand this entire process. Um, so welcome to Adair Homes. This is our virtual tour today. We are proud to be NHQ 2021 winners. Um, it's a big Kahuna award for uh, the National Housing Quality uh, Association. Uh, not everyone that applies for this award even gets it. Um, so Adair was really proud to receive this award. It was very arduous. Um, man, they put us through a lot. They did a lot of secret shopping um, and spent much time in our corporate offices looking at all of our policies and procedures, our customer care. Uh, so we're pretty proud of that. Yes, we are. So who is Adair? Adair is the grandfather of the on the lot builders in the Pacific Northwest. And we've been in business since 1969, guys. So uh, we've been around a minute. Uh, we build in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Arizona. And we will continue to spread our wings uh, in the United States, actually. Um, we do have a goal of being the largest on your lot builder in the United States. And I think that's a, it's a 19 year goal now. Um, Adair Homes works in partnership with realtors. So if you don't have land, uh, you can reach out to a home ownership counselor who will have a preferred partner that understands land acquisition and will assist you in finding that piece of land so you can build a home on it. We offer over 40 customizable floor plans. Every floor plan can be customized and we can also do fully custom homes, unlike some of the other on your lot builders. Sweat equity, that's our claim to fame. And what that essentially is, is that uh, by partner partnering with Adair Homes, you do some owner to do items and in doing so, you uh, build up the equity. Last year in 2021, um, Adair Financial Services average customer was 15 to 25%. So it really was an average of about 22% um, equity at Move-In. That's pretty phenomenal, don't you think? Yes. Yep. All right, uh, I'm gonna hop out of this if I can figure it. And before we launch, I just wanted to go to the Adair Homes landing page and remind everyone that in the upper right-hand corner where my cursor is circling, it is where all of our branches are. So when you're looking for pricing, you will want to find the branch that you will be building at. You click on that area and we are in Southwest Washington. These are all of the branches that we have in Washington. Once you hit it, you have now chosen your branch location and your pricing will be accurate. So you can look at all of our lovely floor plans. And there is a lot of great information on this website. I want to point out really, really quickly down at the very, very bottom under resources, there is some fantastic information for you. Most of you have already found our events page. And on this events page, you will find the upcoming virtual tours, 
live open houses and any other classes that we might be having as well as home and garden shows. Uh, I want to show you right here on February 22nd, we are sponsoring a virtual building 101 seminar. So if you have not been in to visit with a homeowner counselor, or even if you have, this is a fantastic class to take. It goes over all of the process with Adair Homes. And we have reinstituted our $1,000 bonus so if you attend a class and you build with us, we'll give you $1,000 off uh, of some of your bells and whistles. So it's a great class. You can find all of our plans and ideas and classes on that page. All righty, let's hop into this. We are doing a virtual tour today of the Winchester. It is 1,560 square feet a three bedroom, two bath home, open living concept. And this is a concept that you're looking at right now on the screen. This is our standard build in a reverse orientation. We can flip the garage and the whole home right around to be on the other side for you as well. We also have options of moving the great room and kitchen and flipping those where your entrance of the home would be through the great room as opposed to this entrance being at the kitchen. I wanted to show you the floor plan so you can kind of understand the process that we take when we are creating a home for a customer. So we start with our original concept. We are building today, or we're looking at today, the Winchester for the DX. The DX built in White Salmon, which is Klickitat County. And here is their red line. So we created this and sent this to our drafting department so they could then create the DX concepts. Big notes here. They decided to remove the garage altogether. They are building a nice covered patio and basically a, a fairly standard home with the exception of solid core doors, they really wanted privacy. And they're adding the pre-wire for our ceiling fans um, as well as pendant lights. A uh, few other options that we'll see as we move through. I wanted to show you the front of their home. First of all, this is the home as is you can see the garage is right here now we're removing the garage so we're going to hop into their specific floor plan and as you can see the garage has been removed and the added items have been drafted onto the plan for the customer let's take a look at the front of the house so here is where their garage sat they gave them a dormer. They gave them a separate dormer over their front door. It looks really great. The video is awesome. They're, the house turned out really, really cute. It is really cute. So let's hop into our Winchester. Now, before I start this video, a uh, little disclaimer. Uh, this video and this home was completed prior to some really big changes that we have made recently. Uh, we will point out the changes throughout the video, but I will also take a moment and show you what our new features are. But one of the huge things that's a change is that Adair Homes now is going to paint, first of all, caulk and paint the exterior and the interior. We also are going to be taking care of all cleanup on the exterior and the interior of the build. Previously, that was an owner to do item. We looked at all of our surveys from our customers over the past several years, and those were the two biggest requests. There was a few other ones that we'll be incorporating down the road, but those were the two number one requests from our customers is that they just didn't want to mess around with painting and they didn't want to clean. Those are really the two areas where you, get, you got your hands dirty um, 
in, in the uh, owner to do process. I'm going to go ahead and expand this and we're going to start. Uh, the outside of this home is built to the traditions elevation. So Adair Homes builds several different elevations. Elevations are lipstick. So the bells and the whistles. We hop right into the entryway of the home and this is their great room. Uh, the DX have vaulted the ceiling in the great room and they have gorgeous views out of these lovely windows. Um, yeah, they which, do. Yeah, aren't, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Uh, they're going to build a deck on the back of the home and we'll see why once we get to the outside again. Um, they chose a, our, one of our newer carpets. It's called Haze. It's a, a nice gray color. And um, an upgrade is the pendant lights, which you see right here. Uh, they also did a tile pad right here in the living room for a future wood burning stove. Adair Homes will put a wood burning stove in for you now. At the time they built, Adair Homes did not. Super nice, large open living space. I'm going to stop it right here because this is a very nice, really laid out kitchen. I want to point out the countertops. They are standard with Adair Homes. They're a laminate countertop by Wilson Art. And this particular countertop color is Pearl Soapstone. Thank you. Pearl Soapstone. You see right here, they have an above mounted sink. Uh, which is standard with our homes. Their cabinetry is standard. Uh, they brought in their own refrigerator. They decided to upgrade to a gas stove. And they also decided to upgrade from the microwave hood vent to a true hood vent. And they elected not to get the microwave oven. Here's their dishwasher right here on the side. The flooring in here is not wood. Uh, it is one of our standard floorings. Um, it is natural Lux Newport, and it is by Shaw. It is a roll vinyl product. Doesn't it look great? That looks really good. It doesn't even look like a vinyl floor. Now their cabinets they chose are the standard shaker version and they did a clear finish our cabinets are made from beech wood you're seeing right here a backsplash as well as uh right here that is a standard white classic subway tile uh and that is standard for our builds the only upgrade you're seeing right here actually is their gas stove. Our standard stove is going to be a Whirlpool uh, glass cooktop um, and they convert it to gas. And also look at the window. If you notice, the window's trimmed out. So all of our windows come standard with drywall wrap. You can upgrade to just a windowsill or you can upgrade to the Craftsman, which is the version they chose. And we have another upgrade, which is architectural. That's awesome. You're seeing a lot of blue tape, guys. That's because they're just getting ready to do their, they've already completed their final walkthrough. And um, so they have blue tape marking spots on the wall that need to be touched up. What brand of appliances come standard in the home? Our standard appliances are by Whirlpool. Um, we also have options of upgrading. Uh, to a gourmet kitchen. Our gourmet kitchen, we have two options. We have a Whirlpool gourmet line and we have the KitchenAid gourmet line. They both come with two built-in electric ovens. The cooktop can be gas R or electric and it comes with a true hood vent um, and the dishwasher. Lots of options. And these are standard doors uh, in the house. They are a six panel door. We have different options that you can upgrade to. Note the hardware here, it's oil rub bronze. 
that is an upgrade. Um, our standard uh, knobs will be a brush nickel and they would be round. Look at that view. That's, That's so pretty. pretty. While we're talking about doors, um, is it possible for people to increase um, the width of a, the doorway? Um, we have a question that is about ADA adjustments and if we allow to do modifications to the home for that. Absolutely. So Adair Homes does not follow the ADA compliance book. It's like that thick, but we will adjust to anything the customer desires. Um, I have um, uh, widened doorways to uh, access wheelchair. Uh, we have put a subfloor support down for heavy wheelchairs that are electric that move quickly. Uh, we've lowered counters. Um, uh, can you think of anything um, in particular that you've done? Yeah, um, we can do roll-in showers. Um, so a nice roll-in roll shower is very easy for us to do. We can do grab bars. Um, so it really just depends on what's needed for the person that's building the home. Um, and we can customize any of the floor plans to, to really meet those needs if we need to. And our roll-in showers are standard now. So, uh, well, they're an upgrade, but your homeownership counselor can price them for you immediately. Uh, where prior to December, we had to wait for the corporate office to custom price it. So look at this bathroom. This is a, a standard shower tub surround. Um, all of our showers now will come with a shower door as standard. Prior, we used to just give the pole. Um, you have a, uh, an, a standard faucet here, which we no longer provide. All of our faucets now are going to be brushed nickel. And I'll show you what those look like in a few minutes. That tub is actually pretty deep. Um, it's a it's a it's a nice deep tub. This is going to be the next bedroom. I believe that's the back of the house. So that bedroom is a 13 by 10, 13 3 by 10. Do we see both bedrooms? I guess we did. The first bedroom was a 13 3 by 9 11. So essentially, they're about the same size. And in the living area, instead of a sliding glass door, are there any other options like a sliding glass door? Yes. Um, for the, we can, for replacing the sliding glass door. We can replace the sliding glass door, which is standard in our home. And you see a picture of it right there. We can do an atrium door, which is a fixed door on one side and it swings inward on the other. We can also do French doors. Uh, the only requirement with a French door is that you do have at least a four foot overhang on the outside um, for water intrusion. We have some beautiful sliding glass doors that have fixed panels on the other on either side. They're gorgeous. The Huge. four panel sliding glass doors. Yeah, the, those are so nice. This is the master bedroom that we're coming into. Our master is 13.3 by 14.6. So it's a very nice size master. That is a good size. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. You've got your master bathroom. Excuse me. It's not master any longer. It's primary. Old habits are so hard to break. Um, <laughs> primary bath. There's your laminate flooring, which is standard. Uh, everything's standard in this bathroom with the exception of the hardware on the doors. That vinyl floor looks really good. Great, look at the size of that closet. I don't think I have measurements of that closet. I don't, um, it's big. It what? is pretty big. Pretty and one big. thing that I love about our closets is we're not using any wire rack shelving. So the MDF shelving is standard. It's not an upgrade. So they definitely hold more weight than the wire racking. Yeah, they most certainly do. Uh, let me point out right here, you see your TV outlet and your electric outlet. Uh, when you're building your concepts with your homeownership counselor, if you want to have those up here, no big deal, just let your homeownership counselor know. 
Um, so we can add additional outlets. Uh, you pretty much pull it out of your hat and we can do it. We even have a Christmas package on the outside for or a holiday package. <laughs> it's another old habit. All, <laughs> all the name changes. Here's our laundry room for this customer. It goes out to the garage. You're seeing the shelf right here. That is a standard shelf, which would sit above your washer and dryer. Uh, with the energy code in Oregon and Washington, we are required to put the HVAC uh, heat pump system in the heat pump into conditioned space. We used to be able to hang those in the garage. We did that frequently. Uh, now we need to keep them inside conditioned space. A lot of customers, if there's room, they'll build a closet around it. In this particular case, there wasn't room in their home. Look at the outside, isn't that gorgeous? That's really pretty. Oh, that went too fast. Hang on, I gotta back that up. I wanted to point something out here. Okay. I love their views. I, I would have had to add more windows to this house if it were mine, just because of all those pretty trees around. It's beautiful, so this is white salmon. It's a great area. Um, I wanted to talk about the exterior of the house just a bit. Um, what you're seeing right here is concrete and um, or cement. And uh, this cement is an owner to do. So the DX have a covered patio here. They were responsible for the flat work underneath their feet, as well as the back patio. Uh, the reason why Adair lets you have the opportunity is because you then work directly with the contractor and you can choose whatever you would like to be under feet, whether that's flagstone like Justina loves, uh, <laughs> uh, exposed aggregate, brushed. Uh, there's so many different options that uh, you can work out with your contractor directly. Uh, this site has been excavated by the owner's excavator. And we will provide you with all the tools and phone numbers and guidance to complete this task of receiving a bid from the excavator and then executing on this work. I wanted to wanted you all to look at this foundation. So the least expensive build is when you have a level property and that level property then can be a level foundation. This obviously has a gentle slope to it. It's, it's actually a pretty good slope. And uh, they have what we call steps in their foundation. You can see this little stair stepping going down. Um, each step has an additional cost to it. And just wanted to let you know that that will be, that cost will be created for you when you've completed a site visit with Adair Homes. We will give you a complimentary site visit. We'll come out and we'll review your land. Um, we'll review the infrastructure on the land and we will create that bid for you of what your additional costs look like. That's actually a better view of that. That is a good view of the step. So looky here, guys, obviously they are going to be building a deck. So what you're seeing right there that's not painted on the side of their house is called a deck ledger. Our homes are built with James Hardy siding, and that is a cement concrete uh, composite material. You can't just hammer into that easily. So we will supply the deck ledger for you in the build, which is a wooden material, uh, obviously treated. And that way your deck can go right into that since you'll be doing the deck if you need one. So while we're kind of talking about site development, what, Whoa. oh wow, let's just pause it right there for a yeah. minute. <laughs> so while we're talking about site development, um, for those customers that may not want to, you know, manage that themselves, uh, we do have a turnkey option. So what would that look like for somebody that wants to go that route instead? Well, if you choose the turnkey option and it works really well for some folks that are from out of town or just don't want to be involved with that, want the simplest build, uh, we would take care of many of the owner to do's for you. So uh, the items that you will always take care of are permitting, 
with the county that you're building in because you own the land. We will provide you with all the engineered floor plans and applications, but you're going to do the walk to the permitting organization and go through that process. We have a department set aside for you while you're going through that process for any inquiries, any questions, any roadblocks that you run into. Uh, you also will be responsible for the connection of your final utilities and also the installation of a well um, or a septic if necessary. Uh, Justina, do you have anything to add to Turnkey? I know you've done quite a bit more than I have. Yeah, um, I would say another thing that's not included in our turnkey is going to be um, landscaping. So that tends to be a big question with a lot of people that I work with. The nice thing about turnkey is that um, we are going to do all the excavation, utility trenching, um, even if, you know, our standard turnkey, you know, assumes a flat site and 50 feet of utility trenching we're going to get bids in place before you sign contracts so you know exactly what your additional costs will be. Um, you also have the opportunity to add additional flat work. Um, so if the flat work that we're providing isn't going to be enough flat work for you, you can add more. Um, and I would say one of, one of the benefits, uh, the biggest benefit to Turnkey that I see for customers is that um, some people can get overwhelmed with it and they get to remove um, something that could be stressful, not for everybody, but for some people, it can be pretty stressful. So we have an option for you not to deal with that. So I think that's really nice that it's offered. So are you saying that if uh, I were turnkey in building this home, this flat mm -hmm. work would be done for me as well as the deck? Um, so we do not do decks, but we do pour a concrete pad um, if you're not going to use the concrete pad in the back, you could talk to your home ownership counselor about possibly allocating that concrete elsewhere, or maybe keeping the pad below the deck if you're going to use that area below if it's high enough. Um, you will get a um, 20 by 20 pad in front of the garage. Um, you will get your front patio poured and a walkway from the patio to the pad in front of the garage. And then also typically a 10 by 10 pad out of the rear of the home. So if we wanted, uh, if we were going turnkey, we'd get a 20 by 20 pad right here for parking. Yes. Okay, because this is where the garage would have gone. Yep. Gotcha. And all, all the excavations taken care of as well for the customer, correct? Yes. The only type of um, excavation that wouldn't be included would be things like retaining walls. Um, or a driveway. So if a, a driveway or a roadway needs to be punched into the property. However, that being said, we already have the excavator that's gonna be doing the work. So if you talk to your homeownership counselor, they can just get the bids for those items for you and then you can just pay the excavator directly. Nice. Um, and uh, Amanda White Rock has joined us and she would like to know approximately how much turnkey costs, which is a great question and definitely depends on what house you're building, but it would start at around 35,000 and go up from there depending on the home plan. And it generally works out to be about 20% more than if you were doing it all on your own. Um, that, that's been the, the average of what we've been finding. I'm going to run through the video um, while we answer questions for folks. Um, okay. And I want to kind of keep aware of the time. We're just at 1230, uh, which is great because I want to show some of the new upgrades that we have available to you if you decide to move forward with Adair Homes. All right. So what if uh, the utility runs are over 50 feet? Will there be an extra cost option? Yes, there will be. Um, but we'll price it out for you before you sign contracts so you know exactly what you're getting into. So our turnkey program is going to take care up to 50 feet from the house? Yes, cool. exactly. That is what the standard package is. Um, Oh, we have another question. So in the great room, which is where we are at, is it possible to add in wall shelving? Um, yes. Um, 
let's say, for example, you wanted to do built-ins here. Uh, we certainly can do that for you. It is a custom. Uh, so you would have to complete a site visit first before we can get pricing on that for you. And we would submit it directly to our corporate office to the purchasing department. Uh, and they would go to our cabinet builders, uh, which are, their name is Ridgecrest Cabinetry, they're in Ridgefield, and they would create that cabinetry for you. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That's a good question. That's a really good question. Um, let's see, this is a really good question too, that I know you'll have a great answer for. <laughs> so can you provide recommendations for contractors for items you do not do? For example, we need a, a save surveyor to segregate our property. Also, we'll need to bring in utilities. We would like names of people you have worked with that are trusty and reliable. Is this something that we offer to people? You betcha. So when you commit yourselves to Adair Homes, we will provide you with all the tools to complete your jobs. Uh, we have a long list of contractors, subcontractors that we have worked with over time. I will speak specifically for our branch, the Woodland branch. We have some subcontractors that have been with us for 15, 20 years. Uh, were their bread and butter. Um, so we didn't use to do painting. Uh, we had subcontractors that we would utilize and give customer names to. So we'll give you excavators. We'll give you, uh, when you said uh, surveying, we have uh, um, companies that we work with. Um, just a note on that uh, breaking up of property, make sure you check with the county to find out how long it's going to take. Some counties are way long and some counties are fairly quick. Um, it's, a, it's always a conundrum and the counties are God. Um, so what they say, we have to follow. Sure do. Got to keep them happy, right? They're the ones who approve the plan so that we can build the house. So in kitchen and bathrooms, is it possible to upgrade to quartz countertops, um, a full height backsplash in the kitchen, larger backsplashes in the bathrooms? Is that something that we will allow? You bet. So we, this, is, this house is a fairly standard build, um, but we have quartz and granite available for our customers as well as tile. Uh, we don't do much of that anymore on countertops, um, but we do have quartz, quartz and granite. Uh, we have all kinds of backsplashes that you can choose from. Even you can put in your own backsplash if you desire. Uh, it's one of the very few areas that will let you work inside the house any longer uh, because we do provide a certificate of occupancy at the completion of the build. Uh, backsplash is not required for that. so. Absolutely. Uh, we have many cabinet choices. Uh, we have sink choices. Uh, we have different trim choices, carpet choices, uh, flooring choices, you name it. Our design centers are full of these products. They are being updated. Uh, we're short some products right now because we just made some major changes, which I'll show you here in just a second uh, once we finish running through the house a second time. Okay, so we have a couple of questions about um, participation, I'll call it. Um, so can, you know, customers opt to bring in their own appliances as far as the kitchen goes, because we don't, we don't put in the fridge and the washer and dryer typically, but can customers put in other appliances? Um, and then also, can customers put in things like um, standard lighting, like instead of standard lighting, can they bring in their own lighting fixtures that we'll replace? And can we bring in plumbing fixtures and we replace them? Is that, some, is that something you can kind of go over? Perfect segue. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Adair Homes made a pretty significant change uh, for our customers uh, in December. Um, and uh, we have a standard lighting package as we do a standard fixture package, which I'm gonna show everyone. Um, and then we have 
quite a few different upgrade of, uh, packages that you may elect. Um, at this time, we are not allowing customers to bring in their own lights or uh, fixtures uh, during the build. So if you have a specific light that you are really into, uh, you will need to bring that to the build after certificate of occupancy and replace it yourself. Okay, um, look, let's look at some of these lights. So here's our standard lighting. This would be the vanity in the bathrooms. It would be larger or smaller depending on the bathroom. This is your uh, dining light. This is your two-story entry. Is that my correct? Yep, that's correct. Okay. This is your entry light um, if you have a foyer. And this would be your bedroom, hallways, closet lights. This is our new exterior standard light. Um, now the bulb is put in from bottom up. It was a code change. Let's just look at some of your examples. These are all available. If you like contemporary, we've got the contemporary light package. It's gorgeous. We have it in brushed nickel and we also have it in black. If you like modern farm, we have our light package in black and in brushed nickel, as well as oil rubbed bronze. We also have the mid-century modern light package now in black and in the brushed nickel. We did not have nearly this many lights prior to December 1st. Um, <laughs> It is super exciting. Our customers are happy. It meets universally everyone's needs. Exterior lights, we have options too. So I'm just gonna rip through these here to show you all of the different lights that can be placed on the exterior. They're just fantastic, I love them. All it's right. so nice to have so many options now. Do we have the option for any type of recessed lighting? We, we do. Uh, we put in, um, help me, I can't, I, I'm brain dumping. LED. <laughs> They're uh, LED can, can simulator lights. Um, so they don't um, recess all the way into the ceiling. Um, like a can light does. It's more of a surface mounted light, but it gives the same effect of a can light as far as aesthetics. Um, but you also have more light that actually kind of protrudes from, from the area since it's not recessed into the ceiling. It's uh, the, uh, um, the newer light um, in our market now um, and can lights are sort of going out. Um, so they look very similar to them. They're just a mounted where as, as opposed to a cup. Uh, guess what? An air homes put ceiling fans in now. So uh, we've got your different finishes, black, white, brush, nickel, five blade, three blade, eight blade. And we have under cabinet lighting, as you can see here. And one of the customers was asking about that backsplash. Here is an example of a, a classic subway tile on the full back part of the kitchen. So available. Those look like quartz countertops too. Yeah, and it is an upgraded kitchen. This is our gourmet line here. You've got your built-in microwave. You've got two built-in ovens, gas cooktop, and a true hood vent. I'm going to hop on over to our plumbing. Standard plumbing is now brushed nickel. So here's your bath faucets. Here are your tubs and shower faucets. Here is your kitchen faucet. And this is for a Roman tub. 
Um, that's something else that's new on houses that are large enough where they have open space in the primary bathroom, you will now receive a standard soaker tub and the shower. It's so cool. It used to be an upgrade. Yeah, you Here are those. standards, standard tub, which you saw on our video, standard toilet. This is for uh, the pedestal sink will be for a half bath. And these are your above mount sinks for your bathrooms. Here are your standard bath and towel bars. We have options. We have motion sense. We have spring related faucets. They are in black and stainless. Uh, we also have fixed black and stainless. We have black and bronze, stainless and satin nickel water dispensers. These are the hot water dispensers. They sit on your counter by your sink. We also have pot fillers. Pot fillers available in the brush nickel and the oil rub bronze. Oh my gosh, and then we go into the modern bath upgrade. So if you like the modern, here you are. This big tall faucet is for our freestanding tubs, which we now have in oval and in square. Rectangle. Rectangle, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be able to fit that in a round hole, would you? <laughs> Here's our black. Here's the brushed nickel with the bath and towel bars. And we kind of hop around. We go to traditional kitchen. Guys, there's just so many options for you here. I'm not gonna even chatter about all of them. When you see your home ownership counselor, they can review all of these with you. We will not have samples of everything, but they are by Moen Faucets. When they, Moen Faucets gives a limited lifetime warranty on all of their products. They are a phenomenal company. Now, when it comes to the lighting upgrades, can you mix and match the packages? I don't know. You stopped me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope you have your own question. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you can to a certain extent. Um, you could do um, the overall lights as one type of finish. Um, and then you could do something different on the exterior of the home. You could do pendant lights are a separate upgrade. So you can choose a different look for those. If you choose wall sconces, they're going to match whatever, you know, package you've already chosen. I don't really know why somebody would want to mix and match the packages personally. <laughs> but um, I, I think you could find a way to do it if you wanted to. So guys, we have double bowl and single bowl farm sinks. We have top mount sinks, double and single. These are porcelain, they're beautiful. We have really phenomenal toilets now. They are skirted fronts and they are top of the line as well as the upgraded vanity sink. In they look the easy to clean too. Oh yeah, if you have boys. Yeah. Yeah, I raised three, so I would have wished I had one of those back in the day. We have our single bowl undermount. It is 16 gauge. It's a low gauge. It's very phenomenal. Here are the freestanding tubs. There's that rectangle. And uh, here is your oval. Uh, just additional hot water. I don't know why they're over here, but we got those. <laughs> We uh, have so much, we can't even go over everything. You gotta come in and see us. So we got a few more questions. I'm so glad we ran through that. I think all those options are so exciting. I know people are super happy about them. Um, so one of the questions is, if we have house plans other than those on the website, well, that's a great question. Adair can build that house for you. It is a different home path. So it's called our custom home path. And how that would work for you is you come in to see a homeownership counselor. 
and we would walk you through that program. Uh, we will schedule for you a drafting meeting with our draft team at the corporate office and provide them with the plans and uh, any of the bells and whistles, things that are important to you, where windows will be placed, et cetera. They will then create a concept for you. Once you receive the concept, if you're happy with it and ready to roll, we will resubmit it for pricing. It is a slower path to go through. There are more costs associated with it, uh, but it is available to you. We cannot use your engineered floor plans from someone else, an architect, a draft person, another builder. We will re-engineer those floor plans and make a few tweaks to them and they will become a dareized. Perfect. Justina, do you have anything to add to that? I know you've done a lot of custom builds. No, I think that's spot on. Um, we, we absolutely can build other things. I would always recommend that you provide the plans to um, your home ownership counselor up front so that they can work up an estimate for you and determine if we're gonna be able to build it within your budget and also review it to make sure it is within our wheelhouse of building. Um, but, but if it is, we have a pretty good program for building fully custom homes. So that's pretty cool that we can do that because not all builders will take those on. Um, speaking of estimates, <laughs> one of the questions is, is there a way we can get an estimate for the house build cost at our initial meeting to include upgrade options? So, um, yes and no. <laughs> That's a good answer. When you come to your initial meeting, it can generally last from an hour to two hours. It just depends on the detail that you're interested in going through. The purpose of your initial meeting is education. We want to share with you as much as we can about Adair Homes, but your home ownership counselor wants to learn as much about your specific situation, your land, your special needs, your wants, needs, desires, uh, so that we can then come together to say, you know what, Adair is a great fit. Or conversely, you know what, Adair doesn't meet my needs. That's the reason for that initial meeting. Now, that being said, your home ownership counselor can certainly take the information that they gather from the meeting and they can give you a verbal estimate of what it would approximately cost to build with the upgrades that you're interested in. Um, we, we sometimes will give written quotes, uh, but, it, but generally prior to getting a written quote, we really would like to know your budget. And uh, to know that budget, uh, you really need to have a pre-qualification letter from an approved lender or from Adair Financial Services. So, you know, since we're talking finance, Adair Financial Services is our in-house finance company. They are robust in the construction industry. That's all they do. We will do one-time closed loans for you. We will refi your existing land into a one-time closed loan. We have competitive rates and we have some benefits. A couple of those benefits. We do soft pulls on your credit when we do an initial pre-qualification. That saves you time and money and a ding on your credit. Simple application, you turn it in, they will have an answer for you in a robust 72 hours. Most companies take a week and you got to turn in W-2s, income tax, the whole shebang. So that's a nice Benny. Another benefit is we will provide a free float down. What that means is at the very end of construction, when they roll your loan into a 30-year conventional loan, if your interest rates are lower, we'll give them to you for free. We're not going to charge you additional money. Another benefit, we lock our rates early. You will lock in at closing. That's about four months out as opposed to when you re refi at the end. 
Interest rates are shooting up, guys. So Adair Homes can lock you early in the process and we will guarantee that right throughout the build. What I miss, Justina? I don't think you missed anything. I think that's perfect. I definitely think our role as home ownership counselors is to help you build within your within your budget. Um, so the sooner that you provide a budget, the easier it's going to be for us to make sure that we are designing a home um, that that's going to be a good fit for you that is going to fit within your budget. So that's really important. Um, as far as the process for this goes, somebody's asking what the process looks like as far as timeline, and that really is going to be area specific, right? So um, it's going to depend on where you're building. I would say Brenda and I, our customers are looking at nine to 12 months from the time they have land to keys in hand. Um, but if you're in an area where your permits are going to take a long time, um, then you could be looking at a little bit longer of a timeline. Um, exactly. So I would definitely talk to a home ownership counselor at your build site, uh, your build area, and find out about that. Um, Brenda, can you tell people where we have design centers located? Oh, you bet, guys. Um, we have one right here at the Woodland Branch. Come to see us. <laughs> we actually have uh, a model home and in the model home, we have the design center. Every branch is going to have a design center. They may not have a model home, um, but uh, again, we build in Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and Arizona. Um, again, every branch will have a design center. Wanted to just show everybody the steps to success with the DARE homes. First step is finance approval. That is so important that you come to visit us with a pre-qualification or at least come visit us and then get the pre-qual if you would like to move forward with us. The second step is finding and securing your land. A lot of you may already own land, so obviously you jump right through that. If you don't have a real estate agent, Come and ask us for one. We'll provide you with an agent that understands land acquisition. It is different from a resale home. We will provide you with a complimentary site visit. So we'll take a look at the land, and the infrastructure for you. We'll create a formal report. We will provide that to you. And then step five is your design and feasibility, excuse me, step four, gathering your bids. That is where you guys are going to get an excavation bid if you're not going turnkey and some other bids. We will provide you all the contractor names and everything that you need to do. And we're right there with you, helping you through that process. Design and feasibility is the fun part. It's creating your house. We can do that at any time. And uh, that's where you pick your finishes and your bells and whistles. And that's where we drill down that quote for you. And your final step is ordering your home. And that is a $3,500 processing fee. It is a fee that is applied to your build price. So that means it's removed from your build price. It is not in addition to. It is a non-refundable fee uh, unless we have a price increase during that time that you're waiting for your concepts. And your homeownership counselor can explain that to you in a little bit more detail. We will hold it on file for you for up to two years if something catastrophic happened to your bill. We got about five minutes. Any more questions? Do we still have everybody online? We do. We have all our, everybody still here with us. Awesome. Can that $3,500 be applied to a down payment for the loan? Really good question. Um, yes and no. <laughs> I'm good at doing that. Today, lender. I? Okay. Yeah, it depends on the lender. It's all about the lender. If you go with Adair Financial Services and you pay your $3,500 to Brenda and it's a check or a debit card, it is removed from that down payment. It will count towards your down payment. If you pay with a credit card, it will not be. Why? Lenders don't lend on credit. It makes sense. <laughs> you can't give money sense. free twice. 
So we probably have, uh, we do have enough time for one more question. And I love it when we get this question when you are the host, because it's the perfect question for you based on uh, your previous role here at Adair Homes. Can you explain our warranty? Oh, yes, I sure can. Um, uh, Justine is referring to, I was the customer care manager um, for uh, just under two years. And I created the uh, program for you, the customer, in that it is an online program. So it's super easy. If you are on the website and you go all the way to the bottom where I took you initially and you look under contact and it says customer care. Here is our customer care request form. You are going to receive a 10 year structural warranty and a one year fit and finish and mechanical warranty, meaning your first year is going to settle. Your, your house is going to settle. It's going to move around. It's a brand new home. You may likely have some nail pops coming down from the ceiling. You may have a separation of grout uh, from your kitchen counter to your backsplash. Those are all repairable items under the program. You simply create this little form and submit it. It goes to the corporate office where it's tracked and it will go to your branch uh, a superintendent will reach out and contact you and schedule a time to come out and make your repair. Um, when you sell your house, if you sell it in the 10 year window, that will go with it. The structural warranty follows the home. Questions, warranty. Our manufacturers, everything that we put in your home is a name brand. We're not giving you a product from China that has no name, Moen faucets, Jelvin doors and windows, uh, Whirlpool, uh, KitchenAid, everything has their own warranty as well. So you'll want to complete both the in-house warranty as well as the manufacturer warranty. Very nice. Is there, awesome. anything, is there anything that you can think of that could negate your warranty? Mm, we're working really hard on making sure that doesn't happen. So uh, we used to allow folks to put their own flooring in at one time. <laughs> we used to allow folks to get involved in uh, other items like electrical work if they had their own business. Um, we don't do it any longer. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, we run into snags and hiccups and voided warranties. Um, so uh, we are doing our best to help you prevent voiding that warranty. It would have to be a specific situation. Everything would be taken, I would believe, as a per case item. Yeah, I would say, you know, our, our contracts state that you're not going to come in and do any work on the home during construction. Um, if you were to do that, that would probably be a quick way uh, to negate a lot of warranty issues that you might have in the future. Um, okay, I just I just was looking at the questions. <laughs> oh, guys, it's a uh, it's time to say goodbye. So I would like very much to thank everyone for attending today. Justine and I always have so much fun educating customers. We would love for you to call a homeownership counselor and come in for a visit. Visit. Uh, you certainly can call the Woodland Branch or you can call us direct. Each branch will have a, uh, I can't get out of this, so I'm, I'm, I'm unable to show it to you. Um, contact page, there we go. So you have a contact page and if you click on more, hello, there you go. You scroll down to the bottom and looky there, we have all kinds of resources. So phone numbers aren't published any longer, but our emails are all here. There is Justina, there is myself. 
We are a team. So if you're at a different bill branch and you have a quick question for us, you can zap us an email. Just say, hey, I just was curious about this. Um, we can hook you up with an HOC at a different branch. Uh, we can answer a lot of your questions for you. Pricing is branch specific. Just remember that we can't help you with any kind of pricing. So thank you all so very much for joining us today. Come back and join our next one. We'd love to have you and try to stump Justina and Brenda. Thanks, Brenda. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.